of the second largest penis. I have the first. <laughs> uh, that's my joke. Did you tell Lucy about this trip yet? Well, actually, there's nothing to tell because I decided not to go. I mean, Lucy needs me here. I'm just worried about going away for a year and ruining all the progress she's made. I mean, I know you think I'm crazy, but I think deep down inside she's starting to remember who I am. No, Henry. That's what you want to believe. Hell, it's what we all want to believe. But it's never going to happen. Okay, I gotta go to work. Uh, will you tell her I'll be back later to pick her up? See you guys. Don't tell anyone your sister beat me up. I tell you, that kid could go to the moon and back, and Lucy would never even know he left. Sometimes I wish my wife had Goldfield syndrome. That way she wouldn't remember last night when I called her mother a loud, obnoxious drunk with a face like J. Edgar Hoover's ass. All right. There's your medicine, little fella. Ula, get back to cleaning the pool. And if that's one of your special brownies, don't let any of the dolphins eat that. How do you think I get the dolphins to do double flip and play with the white kids? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Willie, that's it. This time, try to stay clean for more than a day. I made you nice anchovy Sunday. Okay, enjoy that. Henry? Hey. How's your head? Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Good. What brings your royal cuteness out here? I needed to see you. Okay. What you got there? It's my journal. I write in it every night. Oh, you don't like the video? No. I love it. It's just that sometimes when I watch it, I feel like I'm being told about my life from someone else. And when I read this, it's like I'm telling myself. When did you start this up? Right after you gave me the video. Really? I was so nervous to come here and meet the guy that makes me fall in love with him every day. Well, I probably thought I couldn't live up to the hype. No, I was nervous because... because I came here to break up with you. You had plans and a life before you met me, and now all you have time for is to make me fall in love with you every day. That's not all I do. I gave a penguin a bath today. <laughs> Which I'll have to do again tomorrow. Henry, I look at my dad and my brother's life, and I won't do that to you. What do you want me to do? Be some stupid chapter in your scrapbook and then go on my way? No. My plan is to erase you completely so it's as if you never existed. Why are you doing this? Because you have to understand that there is no future with me. Don't you want to have a career and marriage and children? I asked you to marry me last night. You said yes. Kids, yeah, I'd love to do it. But how is that going to work? I'm going to wake up every morning with an enormous pregnant belly and no memory of how it happened. I have to make a new journal that doesn't have you in it. But before I do, I really want you to read what I wrote about you. I will read about it tomorrow, when you forget about all this breaking up stuff, okay? I'm not going to forget about it. I already wrote it down. I won't let myself. And I'm going to do it, whether you want me to or not. I'll be at my house. Okay, type this one in there. Saturday, November 25th, I drove out to Callahan Institute today and had a talk with Dr. King. No, there's one about me. Reminder, he makes funny noises when I kiss his neck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss that. You sure you don't want me to put that in there? You can skip that one. Oh, let me read it. We made love tonight. It didn't last long, but it was incredible. Hmm. It's not all about how long you go. It's, you know, there was a connection, I thought. Actually, let's just rip that.
Well, that's that. Henry, wait! Could I have one last first kiss? buddy but I gotta get the hell off this island I'm sorry I can't take you with me but you've lived here so long you're too big of a pansy to defend yourself in the wild I don't feel bad for you I know you got a little romantic thing going on with Candace Candace and Bernice Candace Bernice and Rose yeah I fell for one chick and I'm losing my mind good luck with that Okay, baby. I love you. Thanks, buddy. Remember to use a condom, or in your case, a hefty bag. Well, okay, you guys. Thanks for coming to say goodbye. Careful. Uh, you guys just make sure your father doesn't get eaten by a shark. Thank you, buddy. What does that mean again? Bring me back a t-shirt. Uh, oh, okay, you got it. Come here. Love you guys. My shirt size is medium husky. Hey! Keep it low. No flippies off the dock. You could get hurt. <laughs> No! All right, let the master show you how to get it done. Hey. Oh. 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 Now you kids go down there and find my nuts. Oh. Sure you don't want to take Doug with you? <laughs> hey, what the heck are you guys doing here? Well, I spoke to the harbor master and he said you were setting sail today, so... We thought we'd drop by and wish you bon voyage. This is from Nick and Sue. They send their best wishes for a safe trip. That's very nice. Spam and Reese's. <laughs> All right. I love Spam and Reese's. Can I have it? Um, I guess. Doug! That's all right. I'm sorry. So, how's Lucy?